Now guys, this question number 6 said find the value of unknown. So guys, if you look here very carefully, this is a quadrilateral, a four-sided figure, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this quadrilateral is divided into two right angle triangles. So guys, in this figure, he is not saying the two triangles are similar. It means guys, we will not using your similarity concept. So guys, if you look here very carefully, both of them are right angle triangle. And we know that guys, whenever we finding the unknown side of a right angle triangle so we will apply Pythagoras theorem and when we apply Pythagoras theorem when two sides are given and for third is unknown so guys right now in this right angle triangle there are two unknown sides so right now we cannot apply Pythagoras theorem here so guys first of all we will use this smaller right angle triangle to apply Pythagoras theorem what is Pythagoras theorem? Uh, the relation between the three sides of a right angle triangle and what is the relation guys the relation is the relation is hypotenuse square the square of the longest side is equals to square of the sum of the two shorter side so guys we noted in right angle triangle the two sides forming 90 degree are the shorter side and the side opposite to 90 degree so guys this side is hypotenuse this is hypotenuse this is base and this is perpendicular so guys when we apply Pythagoras theorem and we finding the unknown side of a right angle triangle when two sides are given and third is unknown so guys we are applying Pythagoras theorem first of all in this right angle triangle because two sides are given so guys the two shorter side are given what are the two shorter side the side opposite to 90 degrees always the longest side and we call it hypotenuse and the two side forming 90 degree angle guys look here these two side forming 90 degree angle so these two shorter side are called base and perpendicular so guys now the base and perpendicular is given so guys hypotenuse is p so instead of hypotenuse we will substitute p basis guys 4 meter whole square perpendicular guys 3 meter whole square so guys p into p is p square 4 into 4 is 16 meter into meter is square meter 3 into 3 is 9 meter into meter is square meter so guys this p square will remain same 16 plus 9 is guys 25 square meter but guys here he said find p not p square so we know that guys to get rid of square we will taking square root both the side so guys finally p is 5 meter now guys we can use the bigger right angle triangle because now we know that what is p p is 5 meter so guys now now we can apply right and pythagoras theorem in this right angle triangle also because now two sides are given and third is missing so guys we know that whenever we finding the unknown side of a right angle triangle we will applying pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem it is a relation among the three side the three side are hypotenuse the longest side and the two side forming 90 degree are the two shorter side so guys the shorter side are called base and perpendicular so guys this equation this function is called pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square equals to b square plus perpendicular square so now this time guys this is hypotenuse this is base and this is perpendicular guys so what is hypotenuse guys hypotenuse is given 13 meter hypotenuse square base base is given guys 5 meter and the perpendicular is given guys q okay so 13 into 13 is 169 meter into meter square meter 5 into 5 is 25 meter into meter square meter q into q is guys q square so guys we know that here have a plus order when we shift it on the other side so guys operation will change so 169 square meter minus 25 square meter equals to q square so 9 minus 5 is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 1 44 square meter equals to q square so guys to find the q we will take square root both the side so guys it is 12 meter equals to q